When a female Pokemon and a male Pokemon love each other very much, they made the perfect move set. What's up YouTube? It's Gotting Lights and Prince bringing you yet again another video on Pokemon Go. And in case you don't know, in case you do know, I'm gonna bring it right back to you. Niantic is in the talks of breeding. And now in case you do not know what that means, it means the best thing in Pokemon Go history. And the game's only been out for not even a year yet. It's coming out now. Hopefully in Easter, that's when we expect to get the update. But we are gonna get breeding in Pokemon Go. Breeding in Pokemon Go. In case you don't know what breeding is, like I said, it's when a female and a male love each other very much and boom, you know, Pokemon, boom. In Pokemon, the original series, like the Game Boy games and whatnot, breeding was a huge factor if you wanted to get a certain moveset for a certain Pokemon, for certain IVs for a certain Pokemon, natures and all that. Breeding was such a big factor that they included it in just about every single game. Breeding is like a, you really want to get deep down into the competitive Pokemon, okay? Deep down into it. You breed. Everybody that's in competitive Pokemon that plays the GBA games, the DS games, they know that breeding is a skill. It's a skill. And now we're going to bring it into Pokemon Go. So here we are. Hopefully in Easter, that's when they're going to announce this, this big thing. Okay, Easter. This is where it's going down. Hopefully, because it makes sense. Pokemon, female Pokemon, male Pokemon, they make, they make an egg, okay? They make an egg. Egg, Easter, put it together, no? Yes. Hopefully they bring it with the gym update. That video is coming out tomorrow, in case you didn't know. It's coming out tomorrow. Hopefully they bring it out in Easter so we can get like an estimate on the actual date because really, they just announced that they're saying they're working on it or it's in development or they have an idea of it. We really don't know as far as date wise, but we do know that it could possibly come up within the second quarter of the cycle for the updates. I don't know if they're gonna actually include it in with the gym. It only makes sense. It only makes sense to include it in the gym update. So not only do you have something to cater for the competitor, you also have people to cater or people that just like collecting Pokemon doing extra stuff, okay? Now, how is breeding gonna work in Pokemon Go? Let me tell you the best way for this to go. If you could breed in your house as far as like just pulling out your phone and having a male Pokemon, female Pokemon, and tapping the button and say, hey, I want them to breed together, that's stupid. You already made this game more immersive, so what y'all need to do, and I, I heard that y'all was already in the talks of doing this, which y'all need to do have a pokey stop or somewhere on the map in the real world where you have to go and drop off your pokemon just like how it was in the original game boy games ds games all that if y'all do that i promise you i would give y'all props i already gave y'all props before but now i'm gonna give you a major prop if y'all do this correctly and only that actually have it take days I know people looking at me crazy. Oh man, you just said we have to get up and go breed. Now we gotta wait. Think about it. That only makes sense. That only makes sense. If you think about real life, even though Pokemon and humans are they're not the same. They do the same thing as far as breeding. It takes a couple days for it to make. For us humans, it's a couple months, but we can, you know, it's Pokemon. It takes a couple days. And again, it took about a couple minutes and hours. But if you're trying to if you're trying to combine Pokemon in the real life, then that only makes sense to do it for a couple days. And I'm pretty sure Niantic doesn't want you to forget about the Pokemon that you left in the breeding center or whatever they're gonna call it. Daycare, which they should. But if it only takes just a couple days and then you go back and see an egg that's like specially made just for you with your two Pokemon that you caught, let me tell you. And then imagine if there was a badge called Breeder. You breed as mean amount of Pokemon and then you get like a special bonus, hence IVs, possibly more IVs carry over. That's not a bad idea. Possibly um, you get an item carried over. Hmm, that's not a bad idea at all. Not at all. Okay, if they do something like that, they need to go creative and go outside the box, but yet staying inside the box, if that makes sense. If they do something like that, imagine that. Just, 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 they breed. And then you have certain chances of getting certain Pokemon and certain items and then IVs, you know, just like the Game Boy games. Because the Game Boy games, it, it was perfect. You didn't, like breeding was perfect. How they did it, how it worked, you can only breed the same species, female, male, and then also you have Ditto in the game. And say for instance, you had a Ditto, right? You already have Ditto in the game, okay? Do y'all know that? Do y'all know that y'all have Ditto in the game? Now imagine, think about what you can do with that. Do you know what happens when you uh, mate a Pokemon with Ditto? 
it creates that same Pokemon, except for legendaries and certain type of Pokemon, okay? But imagine, for the people that are not into the actual games, as far as like the Game Boy games and DS games, imagine if they made it a Ditto and someone was like, hey, did you know that you can make a Ditto? It doesn't have to be uh, a female or male for the opposite Pokemon. You'd be like, what? Like, yeah, dude, just, just find yourself a Ditto. And then Ditto, li listen, watch people try to catch a Ditto now. Watch people try to catch a dinner now. It's just gonna be that more important. I already got mine. In case you want to see that, I'm popping up in one of these cars right here. Make sure you check that out. If they do something like that and they keep it just like how the games were, they're golden. They're golden. If they keep it like the Game Boy game games, Game Boy game games, yeah, they keep it just like that, they're, they're in the money. They're already in the money now. They're not really gonna be in the money. And if they do that on top of the gym remakes, it is a done deal. Literally done, done. They need to go insane with this. And they just need to just do it. They just need to do it. You know, the trainers go out there in the wild and they find a, a breeding center. Let's just call it a breeding center or a daycare. And they say, hey, I wanna breed this Pokemon and I want it to have these moves from uh, this one. And I want it to have this nature. If they introduce natures, which I highly doubt, because there's, there's no natures in Pokemon Go. But I mean, the gym remakes, mate, I don't know. But anyway, it, I want it to have this nature, or it's holding this item. I want it to have this item, or it's, or it's just something crazy like that. And then they leave it there, and then they go back on their adventure. They're catching more Pokemon, they're battling gems, right? And then they think, oh man, I left my Pokemon at the breeding center. Let me go there and hop in the car to walk there. And then boom, they see an egg. I'm like, oh man, I create this egg myself and I breed these two Pokemon together and then they have to walk walk the egg right you have to walk your egg and then it hatches and then that's your actual Pokemon that you made yourself well you didn't technically make it but you get the point right but that's why not anti if you're listening please don't screw this up please just please do not screw this up because if you do you messed up one of the beautiful aspects of competitive Pokemon, okay? Because when it comes to these gym battles and you're already doing a remake on it, I'm in need, I'm in need, I'm in need breeding. I'm gonna be a fanatic when it comes to breeding. I want these breeding centers to be like my local mall or my local Walmart. Just don't make it like it is for the legendaries. I have, we have to travel like dates and countries and all that. Okay, I don't wanna do all that just to breed a Pokemon. This better be my local Walmart or my local mall. But, like I said, this is going to be huge if Niantic can pull this off. If they can't pull this off, then screw it. Just take it out of the game. Take breeding out of the game. Go back to older version or something like that. But as far as that goes, we are in for a treat. I really do think it's gonna go out coming from me. And that's coming from me. Now, Ante done screwed us over so many times, especially with the release of this game. That's still, I'm still not, still not forgiving you for that at all. A lot of shutting down the app, opening it back up and seeing all that. It, it was just, no, I'm not having it. I'm not having it. So you better repay me with this breeding. You're kind of repaying me with the gym remakes. Okay, but then again, gems are already stale out from the get go. But that's all I have for today, y'all. Breeding is coming. Breeding is coming. Hopefully in Easter or on Easter. And if you're excited for breeding and also possibly the gym remakes, please leave me down in the comment section below. I would love to know. I really want to chat with y'all. I really want to know how y'all feel about all this breeding, trading, gym remakes, and all that. It's just, oh, just so much stuff to go over and cover. 6 p.m. Eastern time. Talking Pokemon Go, just to y'all. So don't forget to chick pow that like button and rat ta that subscribe button. And this is Light Skin Prince, and the guy is out. Boom.